I've been a musician for most of my life, and sharing music with people is one of my favorite things. When you play a show for people, you look out and see everyone dancing, having a great time, and leave feeling rewarded. But we rarely look at the environmental impact of shows. Where is our energy coming from, and where does our waste go? So we decided to ask ourselves if we could create a zero waste, sustainable music festival. So here's our blank slate. I think first what we need to ask ourselves is where do music festivals get their power from? Yeah, so traditionally, music festivals use diesel generators to power their equipment and their stages. This releases 2.6 kilograms of CO2 per liter. With a whole festival, this adds up to a lot. And they're really expensive. They cost $16 per kilowatt to run. We will replace diesel generators with solar panels. We'll rent portable solar panels from a company such as DC Solar, and solar panels produce zero emission and have zero fuel cost. So last year, Bonnaroo alone produced 700 tons of waste. Susie, that's 233 elephants. That's crazy. How are we going to get our concert to be zero waste? Vendors will supply local food and beer and will use compostable plates and utensils. You can even bring your own cup. Yeah, and volunteers will make it fun and easy for concertgoers to achieve the zero waste goal. Third pointer! Come me! Woo! <laughs> for transportation to the concert, we're going to install bike racks and have easy access to public transit. Woo! And when we're done, the field should be exactly how we left it. We started this project because we're all passionate about music and sustainability. But this isn't just about reducing waste and emissions. It's about changing people's mindsets on sustainability and setting a positive example for future concerts. <laughs>